You've probably seen it. A slick little green cap on someone's tires, smugly signaling to the world, hey, I put nitrogen in my tires because I'm fancy and clearly understand advanced gas physics. Or maybe your local tire shop tried upselling you with the promise of superior performance, longer tire life, and unicorn farts. Nitrogen inflation, baby. It's the kale smoothie of the automotive world. Sounds healthy, but is it actually worth it? Let's start with the sales pitch. They say nitrogen keeps your tire pressure more stable, resists temperature changes, and doesn't seep out as fast as regular air. Sounds legit, right? I mean, it's what they use in Formula One. If it's good enough for cars that cost more than your house, surely it's good enough for your Corolla with the squeaky brake. But here's the dirty little secret. Air. You know, the free stuff you get at gas stations and breathe every day. It's already 78% nitrogen. That's right. If you filled your tires with normal air, you already got three quarters of the way there. For free. Congrats! The nitrogen they pump into your tires is around 93 to 95% pure. But does that extra 15% make your car ride smoother, last longer, save your marriage? Not exactly. Yes, nitrogen leaks a tiny bit slower because its molecules are a tad larger than oxygen's. We're talking microscopic differences over months. Unless you're racing at the Nürburgring or flying a commercial jet, you won't notice. So what's really going on here? It's classic marketing. Take something that sounds high-tech, toss in some misunderstood science, and slap on a premium price tag. Here's the kicker. If you want to maintain good tire pressure, which is important, just check your pressure monthly with a $5 gauge. So is nitrogen in your tires worth it? Unless you're driving a space shuttle? No. Stick with air. It's free. It's fine. It works. And unlike nitrogen service upsells, it doesn't insult your intelligence. Smash that like button like you're letting the air out of overpriced marketing. Until next time.